All right, y'all. Shout out to Kyle Wilson, man. We're back with something very big, yo. So he's going to be going over the situation, and he's actually going to be sharing another aspect of it that there's allegations of like fifty million dollars being transferred off of BitForex and stuff like that. Like, so it, it gets really deep. And then somebody, a whale, a huge whale from Vivi, is actually going to step in and you know, kind of speak on things a little bit also. So it's just a very, very, a lot more in-depth um, information and newer updates and stuff like that that I didn't really dive into that Kyle is going to get into here. So, yeah, we're going to be checking this out, man. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications. Check out Kyle Wilson, of course, as always. He does amazing content. And yeah, let's jump straight into it, y'all. I'm not sure why the settings uh, did that, but Crypto Exchange... Bitforex halts withdrawals, stops responding to users, it says here from Cointelegraph, sorry, you have been blocked. You're unable to access Bitforex. So, um, yeah, that's them tweeting. It got over 113,000 views. So this post kind of went pretty, um, I would say, it got a lot of attention, a lot of eyeballs. So it's prior to the halt, Zach XBT observed outflows of around $56 million from the three Bitforex hot wallets. So that is a massive amount of coins there i'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste that clark davis is on it as well here we go again he says now let's go ahead and hop on over to dr profit we know dr profit you know one of the bigger whales and holders in the vv community this oh, guy gee. has millions of dollars like pumped into the app and probably uh, millions in omi at this point in terms of us dollar value amounts so this guy is a pretty massive whale um we kind of know his doc's name over the years i'm not going to dox him now that's pointless but i mean you could just go follow him on x for free uh if you want to stay up to date on all this but he says hi vv fam and omi holders the analysis provided by zach xbt is flawed so he is kind of like rebuttaling in this kind of argument here um that zach xbt is making uh, seeing some suspicious activity with crypto exchange bitforex com uh february 23rd their hot wallet saw outflows of 56 million shortly after the the time of the withdrawal stopped processing with no official announcements having been made. Currently, users are asking questions on X Telegram, trying to get a response from the team. And interesting, interestingly, one month ago, their CEO stepped down. Bitforex holds 18% of the TRB t uh, supply and 70% of OMI supply. So this one definitely went viral. This one got 367,000 views. So now these between Cointelegraph, all the views that are adding up, you're probably looking at millions of uh, views at this point of what has gone down with the uh with bit forex so seven percent of the omi supply that is a quiet tremendous amount of one token and trb i'm not sure i'm not familiar with that trb token but 18 percent that is an insane amount that pretty much you can kind of guarantee you are probably one of the dominant whales of that token seven percent is a lot okay so let's not like let's not pretend that's not a lot uh, of token amount seven per seven percent is a massive amount so that could mean some things for the token right as we move forward um first last is what's up penguin says steady baby hey we got a steady community over there on x i see you um we're streaming on x as well uh but yeah that is some pretty insane repercussions right there crypto exchange halt stops responding to users um this article goes on on crypt uh coin telegraph here Hong Kong-based crypto exchange has suspended withdrawals for at least three days without warning. Hong Kong-based crypto exchange Bitforex has halted withdrawals for at least three days without giving a reason. On the day before the halt, around 56 million in crypto had been withdrawn from the exchange's wallets. Um, and it just kind of goes on about Zach XVT. Um, the, the account, uh, the exchange's X account hasn't been updated since May 20, May 2023. That's pretty insane. On its official Telegram channel, Bitforex users are reporting problems with their accounts, varying from inability to enter their accounts to the dashboard not showing any assets. Several users shared a pop-up screen showing that they are blocked from the accessing the company's website. So I wonder if Bitforex also got like a, a U.S. like cis and deceased from offering services, because I know that's been the case for some exchanges that even if they're offshore, that the U.S. government has tried to go after them. Look at Bit, um, look at Binance, right? um so maybe bitforex you know got a little too big for their britches without being regulated and so maybe they pulled the plug and are doing the exit scam i don't know that's just obviously this is all hearsay this is it could be this is all just allegedly 
Um, so I just want to notate that. So if they do come back and they do offer services, then this could be just, you know, hopefully this is water under the bridge. But in this case, you still want to learn from your experience. You still want to, um, you know, obviously we want to, let me see if my volume's still on. If not, that would be tragic. Okay, yeah, here we go. Still on. Dutch homie YouTuber says, hey, problems. hey, what's going on, man? What's going on? Um, so the, the, the lesson here, right, at the end of the day is we don't want to have our crypto... Um, we don't want to have our crypto uh, it's stored on these exchanges, period. All right, these exchanges are centralized entities, and I could pull the plug technically at any moment. I mean, even back in the day when Coinbase was first getting their feet on the ground, they even had outages, and people were unable to withdraw their funds. And you know that was just because Coinbase was just young at the time; their servers were laggy, experiencing issues rather from inflows of customers and consumers, and blah blah blah. Um, and that was a big deal. It's like, you know, you don't own your, your keys, you don't own your, your crypto, right? Um, and that mantra has kind of echoed on throughout the, the Web3 space, crypto, right? At least in the exchange sense and sometimes the NFT sense. So I'm not saying it's an end-all, be-all, and I'm not saying one thing is better than the other. I'm just simply saying, like, to do, you know, your, your own kind of personal due diligence and your risk tolerance to these types of events and how you can kind of mitigate loss. Um, you know, sometimes loss is inevitable, in this space but um you can do what you you know you would, what you can you know it's free to store your crypto off these exchanges into you know your own wallets and your own you know blah 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 right your hard wallets you know the whole nine and i don't need to tell you, you guys are grown adults out there um and yeah so that's that so with that being said seven percent of the omi supply let's go ahead and go hop on over to coinmarketcap.com and we can just kind of look at the omi turn dark mode on so we don't poke an eye out or blind somebody in the audience today so omi is uh, trending a little bit one on one percent today but it is uh it pumped before this news to uh in the shaved off a zero but we're we're back you know the token dumped pretty significantly uh the past you know several days so it, it's it's kind of rebound bro this token be getting hit man like the the, the omi tokens just be taking hit after hit after hit though but it really has though uh it has no real reason to pump though like that's really what it comes down to it doesn't have any reason to pump it has no reason to go up nor does it even have the means because we have negative one exchange this was something that i found funny everyone's saying we have negative exchanges now we have a negative one exchange for this year already this is a, a great start for the year so yeah not only do, did we not get the four exchanges we were promised now we have even less exchanges than we had last year crazy so it probably like went on the oversold pretty significantly um and, and then you know people were buying kind of this this dip here but you can see it like stagnated and went sideways and then kind of popped up um that's a nice little swing trade uh but i i don't know uh seven percent of of the token supply is a lot we'll see what happens with the omi supply i think that's something we need to be watching closely um what they do with that any announcements i mean again this is all speculation we don't know what's going on with bit4x but there are large reports of people that are definitely reporting on this and that they have noticed bit4x has been around for a very long time in the crypto space so this one's definitely gonna take a lot more notice so be on the lookout for that this isn't fud from from media this isn't fud from um zach xbt so i, I think people are might take it as such let them do their due diligence. They're going to investigate. Let the, let these people go out there. You know, I know a lot of Omi people right now are probably feeling in the feels about about all this, including Patrick right here. The high VV fam and Omi holders analysis provided by Zach XBT is flawed. It seems that the press has picked up an incorrect, on incorrect figures. A wallet that, that Zach XBT identified as a BitForex hot wallet does not appear to be a BitForex hot wallet at all. I'm 99.9% sure of this. Um, and then checks back with the blockchain. I don't know what to make of this. I mean, at the end of the day, they have paused their services. It's a difficult pill to swallow. This level of FUD, I know. But sometimes these things play out. This isn't like they purposely attacked Omi. This is just a literal exchange, just doing what exchange things do, unfortunately, in the space sometimes. Um, this stuff is like my second or third go around, maybe fourth or fifth um, in terms of exchanges. So if this is your first time, Bahari goes out to you, um, you know, hopefully you didn't have any Omi. If you did, 
that you know that there's nothing that I can really say to like remedy that situation but um, hopefully you learn from this experience to hopefully do a little bit more due diligence and I know that's like again a tough thing to hear yeah I mean youtubers say all the time to do your own due diligence and do your own research and stuff like that and it's just one of those things that since because everyone says it and you have to say certain things legally it just gets kind of swept under the rug the fact that people mean do that like this is what we all do and we say it because we all do it we all understand we have to do it but the audience sometimes just brushes past that because they just hear it everywhere not realizing that we say it because it is a very important thing to do so yeah it's it sucks getting hit in situations like this because you know i want to be providing that sympathy but um you we want to come out this on the other side in a much smarter way right um so upon checking on the green deposit markers it's clear that these are not bitforex deposit wallet addresses which should usually where funds or which should usually where funds from an exchange hot wallet are coming from it's also important to note that this supposed bitforex hot wallet is only the held the trb token for three hours what does this mean it means that not 56 million were removed but just 3.5 million consequently the exchange won't have a significant a liability as Zach's analysis suggests so um either way i think um you know however you're weighing this um you could take you know kind of somewhere in the middle here is like you know if it's not 56 million it's only 3 million that's fine either way though that's a scary thing that it then exchange to just freeze not saying anything and not have any updates uh, barely and there and if they do it's kind of like uh, a very vague explanation of what's going on so i think at the end of the day it's just like probably just take your omi off of these exchanges people you know i i really think that's the solution here uh that is like you should not be married to any exchange you should not be married to you know to projects like you never know what's going to happen man so you just don't get caught in stuff like this and, and that won't happen if you take control of your own crypto that's why the the term not your crypto not your keys or not your keys not your crypto that's why that was that came, that came about because you have the ability to protect your own stuff you have the ability to hold your own assets so exercise that right or you're putting your assets at unnecessary risk um so yeah um you know i wish i could say more about this uh but this is i think this is kind of the latest update patrick or uh known as or dr Pro known as dr profit this about 11 o'clock my time central time this morning um had tweeted about this so this is kind of the latest update on the bit forex situation now if this turns out to only be three million that's probably good for bit bit forex but with these circumstances you never know i remember the last ftx situation i was telling people to pull out uh their their crypto and their omi from from ftx if they had any in there and people were asking me like how can this affect omi how can this affect omi and the entire space like crashed right and i think this is one of those now this bit forex is nowhere close near as big as ftx was but um you know obviously they hold like a pretty significant amount and it could like worst case scenario affect the omi token in a negative way so i'm not here to give you sunshine and rainbow outlook unfortunately but the omi token you know it, this could have some implications now if these omi tokens are just wiped off the table and the person you know let's say bitforex like dies and goes belly up um worst case scenario those tokens are kind of hopefully wiped out you know is what i think people are kind of hoping for fingers like fingers crossed right but i think at the that the best case scenario here everything comes back online um and it's business as usual and the next time everybody you know the community kind of turns themselves into um you know educators right because i think that's again what i go back to my previous streams before is like we need these educators in the community um when it comes to crypto or three and the whole nine right because these situations do happen unfortunately um you know this again the space is so volatile um crazy things happen it's it's a primarily you know unregulated space still especially overseas in different countries um even if they have regulations then it's still overseas and not under u.s jurisdiction uh there's a lot of things to consider when it comes to these types of events um bitforex has again been around for a long time i would be i definitely would be a little shocked not completely shocked but just a little shocked um if they did go belly up 
There was actually a New Zealand-based um, exchange that went belly up a long time ago called Cryptopia, um, and they just weren't able to operate in New Zealand any further because it was unregulated, and New Zealand wants to regulate pretty much everything over there. So they went belly up, um, and now this is just kind of adding to the list of exchanges, a long line of exchanges, unfortunately, if it goes down. Now, we don't know what's going on yet. Um, it's kind of like let's watch the BitForex here their feed see what's going on you know february 20th is kind of the last time they updated here what are your top encryption projects in 2024 six days ago um and that's really about it here i've seen i haven't seen too many updates which is kind of odd you know if your exchange is down typically you provide updates right so there's something definitely going on here um a little bit of smoke coming out of this camp um i don't want to say there's fire uh, but there definitely is a lot of smoke coming out of this um it does appear that um this could be something going on and i just want to let people know straight up uh, this is not normal behavior for an exchange not to tweet about um something going on in the back end uh i, I know that they uh, i think they updated the telegram i saw the people tweeting about that but again this is just quite weird strange behavior um that typically you don't see on a regular basis you usually see like a maintenance tweet um some kind of update here you know they're going uh, tweeting once a day, if that, maybe a couple times. I mean, just a little low, super low activity um, from a crypto exchange. Very odd. Um, so we'll leave it at that. You back on the Omi and Vivi train? Hey, I'm not really necessarily. I've just been, I've been in Web3 Gaming, man. Um, we've been growing mustaches around here. Um, we've been <laughs> locking in like Dr. Disrespect. We got the Neo. I see the, I see the, see the mustache, man. I see the mustache. I definitely can appreciate a nice mustache, man. Looking sharp. Tokyo on baby um, so it's all about that web3 gaming but I saw this I want to do an update on BitForex because we've got a lot of OGs in the community the audience out there so just wanted to talk about that for a little bit um, let's but yeah like we'll, we'll end it here so yeah Kyle has actually gone into this I do I am going to continue watching the video um, I, if you all haven't watched my series where I'm turning $500 into $10,000 um, I uh, that is on the channel. You can go and look on the channel and find that. But yeah, I actually got my top investment from Kyle. Um, so yeah, like be sure to be sure to check it out and yeah, follow Kyle. He he gives some great advice. He talks on he talks about a lot of great projects and things like that. So a lot of money to be made if you if you you know listen to the right sources, man. And Kyle definitely does his due diligence and is, is great at what he does. So yeah, that being said, you all. Um, yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. You you got you found some information in here. Maybe you didn't know. It made you think a little bit, change your perspective a little bit. Yeah, you know, I hope hopefully some good comes of this. But yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.